So, driver, we we always come together and and talk topics pertaining to trucking and some not so trucking. But our favorite TikToker, she came back. You know, the one that says that she makes 10K period. Remember her? Yeah. Let me, let me see if I can refresh. <laughs> let me see if I can refresh your memory. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I really don't understand the drivers that be on the road for months at a time. Like, why do y'all be out so long? Like, I don't understand. I just could never be out for months at a time. I am not built like that, baby. It's like, what do it be? Like, do it be the money? Because as y'all know, I make 10K a week, period. <laughs> but like, it's not even the money for me. It's just like. Now in that episode that we did we we had a whole lot of drivers that come in the comment session questioning the 10k you yourself you know you you find it hard to believe that this young prime driver that's where she's from now we come to find out she's a prime lease driver and a lot of people in the comment session says that she's cap. Well, driver, she came back to explain the 10K. Hold on. So a lot of y'all have been asking me how I make the most money out here. Honestly, I think it's because I don't take 34 hour recess. I run no recap, so the truck is constantly moving. Like, I have never, since I've been out here, I've been out here for a year and a half, I've never taken a 34 hour reset. Also, it depends on the way that you fuel. Make sure you're not over fueling. You don't need a full tank of fuel if you're only going, let's say, four hours away. And another thing is learn how to trip plan. Like, if you know that you're driving somewhere and you're going to have to stop for the night or they don't have overnight parking there, make sure you're figuring out where you're stopping ahead of time. So you're not just driving around wasting fuel, you, you know, trying to find somewhere to park for the night. And the last thing is, make sure you have a rewards card. Like, whatever truck stop you stop at the most, or just get all of them. Because me, I have all of them. Like, I have a Love Pilot. I usually stop at Love. Like, I don't usually go nowhere else. But make sure you have the truck stop's rewards um, card. Because every time I go to Love's, I don't pay for a thing. Like, I have so many points to where I don't have to pay my own money out of my pocket if I don't want to, you know? So that that's another way that you can save money when it comes to being out here on the road. Because one thing about it, it can get expensive. So, shout out to Kay Larissa. Larissa? Larissa. If I'm pronouncing your name wrong, baby, I am so sorry. But shout out to you. But again, your tag says, how I make 10K a week OTR. And in your response, you didn't say nothing. You ain't said a thing, baby girl. You ain't tell us nothing. Like, like you didn't tell us anything we don't already know. <laughs> now, now, as I travel deeper into her uh, TikToks, I did come to find out that she do have other streams of income. So I will honestly say that with the other streams of income, it is possible that she can get 10K a week from there. But from your initial video, you made it like you made 10K a week driving for Prime and being the Lisa. There could be possibilities that you could still be making 10K with Prime as a Lisa. I'm not going to say it's impossible because there are drivers over there that are making money off of referrals. They're making money off of training and they're making money off of multiple trucks. So it's, it's possible that you could be in one of those options that I just mentioned. But being that you was only a year, a year and a half in with Prime is possible that you could be making 10k a week as a trainer but as as the driver at prime 
Yeah, we we really need to see. Look, I'm I'm not being nosy. I'm I'm just going by what you saying. I'm I'm just going by what you saying. You said you make 10k a week at Prime. If if, if you want to prove that by putting it on a glass, you you can if you want to. It really don't make me no difference. But now that I know, because I did say in the initial video that if you're making 10k a week i want to know where you at so i can come there so now that i know that you drive for prime yeah i i don't know i'm just but in your response video to your tagline that says how i make 10k a week that don't sound like making 10k a week by getting all of the rewards cards because as of as us truck drivers we already know in order for those points to add up you gotta fuel up just saying you for every for every gallon of fuel you're only gonna get one two three points that would equate i know a hundred if you got like the five points per gallon then yeah a hundred gallons of fuel is gonna be five dollars in points so yeah and let's talk about the points for a second because i got a lot of them too i got over a hundred k i got about a thousand dollars worth of i can go and buy me a garment today if i want to but no i just let it add up but you want to know how long i've been saving for those points to add all the way up to what i got right now it's been over three years okay i'm not i'm not capping i with the, the company that i started with i used to have a whole lot of loves points but now it's a flying j and a flying j and pilots because we we got fuel bonuses with them but yeah i i've been fueling up with pilot and flying j throughout the throughout my three my three year tenure with them i got a, i got over 100k in points and that's what was all saved up in three years so okay just saying but you also said about trip planning and not fueling and stuff like that being a otr driver being the least driver you learn that from from the best i'm gonna i'm gonna say prime teach you that stuff as being a lease op because well, i talked to people that that went through the leasing program with prime and they they pretty much hold your hand and again so I'm, I'm not gonna doubt you because i did come across a driver that that touched over 100k i i believe he said a million i'm i'm not i'm not sure don't don't let me overstate that but those are team drivers so yeah i'm, I'm gonna say 100k on the low end but but yeah maybe but the tips that you just that you just mentioned that don't sound like a hundred that that don't sound like 10k to me what what do you think driver yeah <laughs> I, I I just don't see it. I don't see it. Let's hear her 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 tips again. Maybe maybe we missed something. Hold on. Hold on. So a lot of y'all have been asking me how I make the most money out here. Honestly, I think it's because I don't take 34 hour reasons. I run no recap, so the truck is constantly moving. Like, I have never since I've been out here. I've been out here for a year and a half. I've never taken a 34 hour reset. Also, it depends on the way that you use. Make sure you're not over fuel. You don't need a full tank of fuel if you're only going, let's say, four hours away. And another thing is learn how to trip plan. Like, if you know that you're driving somewhere and you're going to have to stop for the night or they don't have overnight parking there, make sure you're figuring out where you're stopping ahead of time so you're not just driving around wasting fuel. Well, I these new jacks that comes in here with all these great tips on how to do things. I love you. I, I love you guys. Y'all, y'all just come in, and I, I guess, I guess I'm just being lightweight cynical right now because I've been in the business for umpteen years, and you pretty much telling me something that I don't already know. I, I guess that's why trucking content on YouTube isn't the same as it is on TikTok because a lot of us on YouTube, we got content among content about the exact same stuff that you said today in 2024. So you're not saying anything new, but let's let's break it down for a little bit. Good trip planning. It should you you should do good trip planning, but does that equate to you making the most money out here? Maybe, maybe not. 
let's let's talk about the no 34 hour resets and you just run recaps so you can't work for you you the company i'm working for you couldn't work here baby you you couldn't work here the company i work for don't even believe in recaps they believe in running that whole 11 hours out hey how much time you got left i got about I got about two and a two and a half hours. I'm about to shut down right now so I can save that. So I can save that. No, 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 no. We need you to drive that out, sir. We we need you to drive that out. Yeah, but what about recap, sir? No, 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 no. You you can't be a, you 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 can't be a solar driver over here. No, no. You can't be a solar driver. So I I I don't know. Running recaps equates to 10k too. I don't know. Maybe you're a lease driver. Better yet, you're a lease driver. How how you are you you just eight hours a day? Okay, okay, okay. But again, you're with a company that holds your hand. Now you may disagree with me on that, but I'm just saying you you can't drive from you can't drive for my company. But again, your experience. It's not going to be my experience and my experience is not going to be yours. But I do agree with you on. I, listen, listen, I do agree with you. I agree with you wholeheartedly on the tips that you said. Definitely watch out for the fuel. Get the rewards cards. Uh, what you said in the beginning as for a company driver. Yeah, if you want to run recaps and you run for a mega carrier that you could just do eight hours a day. Don't drive nights and, and just just want to continue to run. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. But again, dude, that all equates up to 10k a week. Now you do run multiple multiple streams of income outside of trucking. I can see that. But inside, hmm, I need to open up my third eye. What do you think, driver? Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't, I don't, I have, I have no words for this. I really don't because I'm out here running nights and days regardless of how you run your hours. I got here way before time to make my delivery. I got here two days, two days before my delivery time. So now I got 20 hours left. And you still waiting. I have no other choice because I want to gain my hours back so I can head back to the east. You understand what I'm saying? I'm making it work for me. Again, shout out to... Mm -hmm. K. Larice, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, again, I apologize, but shout out to you. But you came back in another TikTok talking about you don't like driving nights and you won't drive nights, but you've been in a situation that forced you to drive nights. Let's hear what you have to say about that. Hold on. It was the first night I had to do an overnight load. Like, one thing about me, I don't drive overnight. I don't drive at night, period. But the crazy thing is, it didn't even start as an overnight load. So I get to the shipper. My appointment is at 7 a.m. I get there about 6.40 a.m. I go check in. And I should have knew this was a sign. They was taking mad long to check me in. So that's red flag number one. So once I get checked in, they give me a door right away. They thinking like, oh, okay, they giving me a door right away. They not playing around. They about to get me in and out. So I park in the door. I lay down, like, all right, man, I'm about to give me a quick little nap there, you know, an hour, nothing too crazy, because I know they're going to at least take an hour. I go lay down, an hour later, I wake up, the light's still red. I went to lay back down, I wake up again, the light's still red. Why did I sit at this place for 12 hours and one minute? I'm just watching the time go by, because like I said, I don't do that night driving, so once it get past, like, 2, 3 o'clock, and mind you, I was eight hours away from the receiver. So I'm like, yo, it's about to be 2 o'clock. So I go in there and I'm like, yo, what's like, y'all still working on me? What's what's the hold up? He's like, oh, yeah, it's a new system. You know, they waiting on 11% of load. So I'm like, where's the load at? Like, I don't, where the rest of the load? What you mean waiting on, where the load? Yo, like, when I say this is the longest I ever waited on a load, like, that's somebody's whole shift. Plus overtime. Like, dumb boys got overtime on me. I kid y'all not. I left that place at 7.15 p.m. So who's gonna start the petition? Matter of fact, I'll start it. When I say last night, it was so funny. Like I had to drive four hours and stop and take a two and a half, three hour rest. Because y'all, when I say I was so tired, I was so tired, it's ridiculous. Like I had to take my break and then I finished the rest of the four hours. The Red Bull gave me wings last night because I don't even know how I made it. Shout out to the Red Bull. I tell you, I, I stopped drinking Red Bull and that five hour energy. Boy, I tell you. And if you drink both of them, mm -mm. 
Mm, crash and burn. That's why I can't mess with them. I can't, I can't mess with them. But hey, listen, baby girl. Baby. We we been there. We been there. You 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 learning. You learning today. You learning today, man. You're learning today. Oh, yes. oh there's more. There's more. You're learning. You get yeah. More of them yeah. yeah. Yeah, you learning today. Again, you're working for a company that's holding your hand. But if you're that's working right. for companies like mine and my co-driver here, yeah, you're going to be running nights. There's going to be some times that you're going to be doing split shifts. There's you're going to be there's going to be times that you're going to be running, you're going to run that that the eight three or that eight two or that eight whatever you're going to be running those because you're going to have some places that you're going to be dropping off in the mornings three o'clock two o'clock one o'clock in the mornings four o'clock overnight you 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 pick up a load that you still got some hours with this company mm -hmm. do your 10 hour and then drop it off Overnight, man. Oh, okay. Again, I'll, I'll give it to you. You, you operating your truck the way you want to operate it, but you got to understand you're working for you, right. You're working with the right company too, because if you're working for companies like mine and and my co-driver here, you wouldn't even last. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's reefer, right? Yeah. I, reefer, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you are gonna get those loads. That you have to be prime is reefer right uh, that's what i'm trying to tell you you're gonna get them loads that you have to get there asap you're gonna have to get those the next day honey good luck i've been there done that we all have been there done that listen let me let me tell you something it, it was a it was a load that i was picking up in solon ohio i was working for us express or jnr shrugal no us express i believe i got there and that's the second time i'm i'll tell you about the first first time driver hold on so i get there and i got in the dock at eight o'clock at night eight o'clock at night okay chilling waiting for them to load me now the now the now the truck was shake rattling and rolling for about a good three hours and then after that it just went dead so i walked back over to the guard house because I still had the red light. Uh, guard, can you tell me what's going on? The guard was able to pull up on the computer uh, the percentage that I had to go on the truck. And it says it was 75, 70 or 25% completed. So I still had 75% to go. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, uh, how much longer do you think? Well, we don't know. We going through a shift change. Maybe, maybe third shift will come in and 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 load you up or whatever the case. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So I go back to my truck. I go back in the sleeper. Go to sleep. I wake up about a couple of hours later because the truck was shake rattling and rolling in the middle of the night. So I walk back over there to the guard shack, thinking, okay, I'm I'm about ready. Now it is 75 percent completed. They got about 25% to go. And I'm like, all right. And mind you, this is, I don't know. I got there at eight. The next time I felt something working was at three in the morning. And then after that, another shift change. We in first shift. It's eight o'clock in the morning, bro. Eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning. And they're still not finished. They didn't get finished with me until 1030 a.m. Now mind ooh, ooh. you, I now mind you, I I get detention, but I had to fight for that detention. I literally had to fight for it because I put in the macro. You had to put what U.S. Express at the time. You had to put in a macro for like every two hours that you're at the place. I was asleep, so I missed a few of them. But I put in the total time that I was there. So yes, lady, you gonna you gonna come up, you gonna come to places that's gonna hem you up. It's definitely not going to be your first. Uh, it probably might be your first now in the year and a half that you was driving. But I'm sure it's not going to be the last. Again, with U.S. Express, I think I went to the Pepsi out in Bumfuck somewhere. I don't know. I was in that door. I was in that door for 16 hours. Oh, no. 16 hours. Two eight-hour clock. Two, two eight-hour shifts. Eight plus eight is 16. 
16 hours. And both time I had to fight for the detention. Uh, did you get there on time? What time did you get there? Was you in the door? How long you was in the door? So yeah, you yeah, you you're gonna have to you you're gonna have to fight. Well, I know I fought for my detention. I don't know if you're fighting for yours, being that you're a lease driver. But but yeah, there's gonna be times that you're gonna get stuck in the door, baby. There's gonna be times where you're gonna end up driving nights, baby. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but but I, I like I like this TikToker though. I, I like her. I, I really do. She got some good inspirational content. She's a spiritual person. She believes in God and everything. And I, I roll with that. Yeah, I, I roll with that. I, I like this TikToker a lot. But I'm just saying, but I'm just saying, you you're learning. You're learning today. What, what's your thoughts, driver? Maybe count your days. Yes, I'm not going to be pretty. As you can see, you're going to be driving night, baby.